Hey everyone, my name is Oscar Morataya from EasyDoYourselfRemodel.com. So here is a, here's a video that I wanted to kind of uh, show you guys uh, how to do. This is basically dry fitting your um, fittings and pipes before you actually prime them and uh, glue them. Uh, and if you want to learn how to uh, to know which fittings to use, I recommend that you join our channel and also our website, uh, ezdiyremodel.com. So here, here's uh, what I have an example of where I'm trying to connect the toilet on the right end here. And then there is a, um, a tub coming up. Um, coming down rather a drain coming down into this fitting here and there is a kitchen a kitchen um, pipe as well that that's actually uh, being merged also and so you know you should always check um, the load that you're putting on your pipes but that's another video that I'm going to talk to you about later on so for now I just want to focus on on um, how do you uh, measure the right size of pipe that you need for this particular configuration. So notice, I'm going to bring up another piece of uh, software here. And, and notice that in one of my videos, I show you that to know what kind of pipe you need right here to combine these two fittings to to glue these two fittings. Uh, what what you need to do is just measure from this end of the hub to this end of the hub, and then you know what size you need for this pipe right here. That's a very easy to do. You just dry fit them like that. This the 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 uh, the piece of pipe that I'm using here is probably an old pipe that I cut and that I'm gonna throw away. But I need to dry fit it first and then measure with your measuring tape and then you can make the cut and you know exactly how much you need. It's really, really easy to do that way. And also notice that I basically used this throwaway piece of pipe and I kind of lined up this here, kind of lined it up with this. And I know, I know how to, how to align, how to orient those fittings as well. So things like that really help. So let me do this. Let me let me also show you another picture. So this is how you measure this. Um, so you can go, you can make your cut for that pipe right there. You already align this connection to this one. So they are aligned. Um, and this is sort of like how I dry fit it. So notice that you have to use some support here as well. You need to use some support to make sure that it doesn't fall down. And then you may have, I probably already did it, but you may have a string here, a string, kind of like this one. You may have it here, a string that tells you your orientation, the slope that that, that, that pipe needs. And that's something that I'm gonna talk about in another video as well. So that's how you kind of do it. Don't do this unless you know about slope and things like that of every, of every pipe. So let me show you another video where I connect this to also. Not another video, but another another uh, picture. Here we go. So in this case, I noticed that I I did this section first, okay? And I don't try to dry fit everything all the way because what will happen is one end will not work. <laughs> so what I try to do is, you know, do this piece first, tr try to do one first and see how things line up. You know that they're going to line up. It's just a matter of connecting them. And then kind of make sure that, you know, you want to know what kind of pipe you're going to need right here. So you kind of do the same thing. Use a throwaway piece of pipe and then measure exactly how much you need right here. That's how much pipe you need. So you make that cut as well. You can kind of give it the size as well, write it down on it. And notice that I have here, oh, this is going to be five inches. So I know how much it is going to be. 
And then down here, um, I decided to combine these two, a coupling and a, and a, and a bend, 45 bend here together. And notice that I glue that together first because it's, it's hard to glue them. Um, like it's hard to make this connection. So I wanted to be also very neat with the prime with the primer. So you know I wanted to glue it first and then work my way up. I try to connect things that are going to be messy to connect. I try to connect them um, sort of like offline outside the configuration. So anyhow, uh, let me undo that one second here. Okay, so. Notice that I know, I know that I need to connect this one here. So I kind of dry fit everything. So I kind of measure from here to there like that. And I know what size that pipe is going to be. I know the size of this pipe. And then I write it down on it uh, as well. So once you've done that, you know, I don't like connecting. I don't like connecting this on here. I try to connect this one. Um, first, I try to connect, actually, I take it back, take it back. I try to connect this one first, probably because, because, uh, it's, it's hard to prime and it's hard to glue, put the glue on, apply the glue on this top fitting and it's going to drip. So I try to do that as, as, uh, carefully as possible so that it looks kind of nice. Some people don't like it when it doesn't look nice. So um, that's pretty much it. So when you do this, make sure that you dry fit and everything is going to fit very well. I can guarantee you that. If you, if you dry fit it and you measure the way I told you, I bet that you're not going to find any issues with sizes. So thank you for listening and I hope that you enjoy the video and please join us on easy diy remodel.com and and let us know how we're doing